Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled deep within the mountains, there lived a young student named Koji. Koji was known throughout the village for his intelligence, but he had a peculiar problem, he had a tendency to fall behind in his studies. No matter how hard he tried, he often found himself distracted by the simplest of things. One bright morning, Koji decided to seek the wisdom of the village's renowned Zen master, Sensei Hiroshi. The old Zen master was known for his profound teachings and his ability to impart wisdom in the most unexpected ways. Koji approached Sensei Hiroshi and bowed respectfully. Sensei, he began, I am a diligent student, but I constantly find myself falling behind in my studies. Please, teach me how to never fall behind again. Sensei Hiroshi looked at Koji with a twinkle in his eyes. He gestured for Koji to sit beside him in the serene garden. Koji, Sensei Hiroshi began, imagine the flowing river that winds through our village. It never rushes, nor does it halt. It simply follows its natural course. Koji nodded, eager to grasp the wisdom within the master's words. Sensei Hiroshi continued, now, think of your studies as that river. Do not force your mind to race like a rapid stream, nor should you let it become stagnant like a pond. Instead, flow with your studies like the river, naturally and calmly. Koji pondered the words of his wise master. It was a simple yet profound teaching. But Sensei, Koji asked, how do I achieve this state of flowing with my studies? Sensei Hiroshi smiled gently. You achieve it by being fully present in the moment. When you read, immerse yourself in the words on the page. When you solve a problem, let your mind be wholly engaged in the task. Do not dwell on the past or worry about the future. Just be here, now. Koji understood that the key to never falling behind in his studies lay in the art of mindfulness. He thanked Sensei Hiroshi and left the garden with a newfound sense of purpose. From that day on, Koji approached his studies with a calm and focused mind. He embraced each moment of learning with mindfulness, allowing his thoughts to flow naturally, like the gentle river of the village. As the seasons passed, Koji's understanding of his studies deepened, and he became a model student. His wisdom and tranquility were admired by all in the village, and he went on to achieve great success in his academic pursuits. The tale of Koji's journey to wisdom and mindfulness was passed down through generations in the village as a reminder that the key to success in any endeavor lay not in rushing or resisting but in flowing naturally, just like the river that graced their serene village. And so, the wisdom of Sensei Hiroshi's teaching lived on, inspiring students to embrace the art of mindful learning for generations to come.